What do you suppose I should do with these? I know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to make a screwdriver handle for it. Using these, because they're non-ferrous, they should turn. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, <laughs> what's that doing in there? Those aren't supposed to be in there. We reload those. Accidentally got put in there by the looks of it. 45s aren't supposed to be in there. <laughs> I'm going to put them in here anyways. I was a little worried that, oops, that's not a magnet, that the primers were going to have to be knocked out, but it doesn't appear that any of them are magnetic. Even that 40 is not magnetic. Look at that. 357 in there. Oh, that one split. See it? Right there? No good. <laughs> but I think uh, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to need to uh, put a little bit of everything together. Uh, 22 magnums. Uh, I think I'll probably fill these with resin first. That way I don't have any air pockets in it. And then I'm going to take this handy dandy mold that Easy Wood sent me with the tools. And I know, I know that I need to be up to about here for a screwdriver handle. I'm not sure on this one. but um, So I'm going to cut this a little high and then we'll just kind of... A, assortment drop those down in there like so and then turn me a handle so i kind of got a an assortment of them i don't know if i'm going to use all of these but i'll put some in there just because and then of course at 357 i got a couple 40 kettles out of here uh, joey you leave these things all over the place yeah so I, 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 like i don't really know how to go about this i'm going to try to uh, just kind of rubber band them together, I guess. That'll just hold them together so I ain't knocking them over. What's the magazine hold? Seven? Two, four, six, seven? We'll go with seven. The idea is so I don't get any air pockets trapped in here. If any of them are this way or that way. I thought I was going to have to knock all these out. But it doesn't appear I'm going to. Alright, so let me get this all done and we'll go from there. Alright, so two to one on the total boat. All right, so I have nine millimeter, 45, 380, 22 magnums. I could have done 22 long rifles, but they're really little. Uh, the 357, couple 40s from my uh, my Joey, <laughs> two two threes, and then a couple extra nine millimeters. I'm gonna fill them with the red because I didn't know what else to do. But this is just to make sure I don't have any air pockets. Taking too long.
<laughs> so anyways, if you can see down in there. Uh, well, the drill didn't go straight, first off, that center, that's not. And it got too hot and started like this is pushed out. Um, I didn't expect the casings to be that hard. So, I'm going to try to step drill it up through the center here, oil it as I'm going, and hopefully I can get this hole up in there far enough I can try and finish this. I'm not going to bore you with any of that, maybe a little bit, but not much. Okay, so I'm going to use this for a template, basically. Uh, no, nothing set in stone. Uh, it just rough guesstimates somewhere up there when we flip it around. I'm going to do most of the work like this because it's going to take me forever. This stuff's hard and you can't get it hot because you notice it bubbled up. So I'm going to, like I said, try, try to go something similar to that. Okay, so um, I've sanded it up to 320. I think at this point I'm gonna put my arbor in, turn it around, finish this, put a knob on it, sand that, and try to smooth the rest of this out when it's all out here. Yorkshire grit, both Yorkshire grits, and probably a CA finish just to protect it. It, it didn't really adhere to the brass that well, so hopefully a thin CA will seat down inside and hold us together. It's more of a novelty thing than anything. So with a a little bit of qualifying if any of you have worked in the industrial field i had to qualify this because my arbor isn't in there straight that's as close as i can get it
Well, for all the hassle, that turned out pretty good. Um, it, it is a bit fat, but there's a reason for it. <laughs> you know, when you get older, hands don't work so well. So but it does look pretty cool. I'm still going to treat it with CA. I'm probably going to do that and then come back when I assemble it. Let's hope anyways. couple runs in the CA glue, one there, and there's one around here. I'm pretty happy with it, aside from that. I mean, it is a screwdriver. Should be okay, <laughs> I would think. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Um, <laughs> pretty ink pens, I can't remember what it's called. Arbor Saver or something like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it up against here and push it in with the tailstock because it's just a hair bigger than my thread so it should go right in there no problem i'll mix up some epoxy and put it down in the hole push it in there till it cures and be good to go dandy super heavy baseball bat club I'm um, screwdriver handle <laughs> it's really heavy but we could do some fencing <laughs> this is for when you need to get the screwdriver in the other guy's car get the screw from your car <laughs> so, um don't look too bad it uh these were really hard <laughs> but hey the project looks like a giant bottle stopper but i'll uh put some pictures up if you like it hit like Twenty-one thousand. um thank you by the way oh uh, i really don't know what to say i haven't been out here much hopefully this one doesn't go up before it's supposed to like the other ones did giant bottles pretty cool i like it <laughs> anyways yep we'll uh it's all crooked and wobbly you'll never know <laughs> Uh, yep, we'll try and see you next week. Bye.